Marrakesh 47. The situation. What's up everyone, my name's Neil Beale, back again with more Hitman today, episode 3 this time, Marrakesh. So this time I'm going to show you how you can kill both targets using the cannon machine gun turret things that's on top of the car, like the army kind of style car outside the school. Um, really cool way, I think it's probably the best way I've seen that you can kill both targets, and it's very satisfying to take them both down at the same time. So what we're going to do, we need to go into this rug shop carpet shop place down one of the little alleyways. Just follow my route I just used. Don't worry about this woman. Just wait till she turns around and we're also going to wait for a man who's standing on the stairs. I'll, you'll be able to see just here, just there you can see he's stood on the stairs. We need to wait for him to turn around and walk up and then we can make our move behind him. So keep your eye on him, now's a good time to go. We're going to go up the stairs, take the guy out. We don't really need to take him out. I'm, I'm not sure if you can sneak past him. But I think it just makes everything much easier if he's out of the question. Subdue him. And we're going to drag his body downstairs. There's a little box just down here. Make sure no one's looking. Sometimes people do walk past and they, they actually don't see. However, sometimes that woman who's shouting about the carpets... She does see the body sometimes when because she wanders a little bit around. If she sees it, that's it, game over. But, yep, just make sure you get his body out of the way because it does get spotted if you leave it. It takes about five minutes. Someone eventually does see the body, so it's easier just to hide it. Now we're on the rooftop. Um, we're just going to wait for this lady to stop talking, this lady on the phone. We can't go walking up there yet, obviously, because she can see through our disguise. So we need to get her out of the way. Not kill her, just wait for her to leave. And on the table that was behind her, there is the evacuation. There. Okay, there's an evacuation plan. There we go. And this is the opportunity we're going to follow. If you want, if you want to turn right up these stairs, there is a consulate key card just on one of the tables, just on the other section of the rooftop. If you're having trouble finding a key card, there's one there. I had a little trouble finding one. There are a couple of doors that only re that required a key card to get in, and it took me a while to find one. I killed a lot of people, and nobody seems to carry it. Wow. Thunder outside. I don't know if you could hear that. Really bad weather today. Anyway, so, we're making our way down as you could see just then i made my way through into the courtyard into like the the membership area that is another way you can get in because sometimes it's difficult if you don't have a, a membership card you could fight your way in but that is another way you can get in without being spotted if you want to get the cameraman out for it for example the cameraman is in there okay so we're going to go in here sneak in nobody's looking and now we'll come to these two guys. We just need to wait for them to finish their conversation. We don't want to go in just yet because we're not supposed to be here. And they're talking about a key code. This this is the key code that we need to activate the turrets on top of the car. And that's something that the opportunity doesn't give you the location of. So it's very easy to miss it. I missed it on my first time. I got up, I did everything right, and then when I got to the laptop... I had no idea where the key was, so I will show you where it is. Okay, so that guy has just walked off. We're going to take this guy out. We need his uh, his costume, his outfit, his uniform. That's probably a better word. So drag him into the box, nice and handy, just to the side. Pick his gun up and use his disguise, and we're good to go. So now we're going to make our way underground. This is a really cool place for speedrunners to use because it it literally well it basically connects the school to the place where Strandberg's hiding out. So this could be pretty handy for speedrunners. Obviously it might be a little more difficult if you're just in a suit in Hitman's suit, but I'm sure it's still possible. So now we need to distract this guard, just threw a coin there, and this on the table here, not that, this, is the key we need to activate the guns, so do not miss that. And also, you can't just walk up to it because that guard can see through your disguise, so you need to distract him, make him look the other way, uh, just, just make him move a little bit. We can have a look at this, 
So we've got the turret access code, perfect. All right, and now we're good to go. So quickly, and let me make sure that the guy doesn't see you. And now the next step is to trigger a fire alarm. Right, we made it. You made We're it. in. Most impressive, Again, not many people in here will spot you. There are a couple of people, I think, that can see through your disguise, but nothing to worry about too much. Just, just bear that in mind. Also, everybody will turn a little suspicious just for a few seconds when you press the fire alarm. But don't worry about that, because after a while, or after a few seconds, they go back to normal. So now Strandberg is running and this is the evacuation part one. So he'll come down into the parking lot. I'll just fast forward it just a little bit. Just skip it forward. There we go. So here he is. And now we're going to be part of the, the unit that's going to uh, escort him to the school. Now be careful, behind this armoured vehicle there is a guy who sees through your disguise and he's always there. So just dip into this room, crouch so he doesn't see you and then we're going to go out this window. That's all you need to do, just be very careful that he doesn't see you because if he does, he will become suspicious and then all of a sudden he will go into combat mode and then everybody will turn on you, including these guys in the escort. They shouldn't even know anything about it but... That happened to me on my first run. Everybody turned into combat mode, took me out, so I had to try it again. But anyway, keep up a, a steady pace. It's annoying because they run. They Well, they don't even run. They jog slower than you run, but they jog faster than you walk. So you have to kind of do a jog walk, jog walk, which is it gets pretty annoying in the end. But it's not that far from the the underground parking structure to the school. We're almost there, actually. Right. We'll get in there. Okay, here we go. So this is where we entered the tunnel at first, where we stole the guy's outfit. Make our way through here. Alright, now we're safe. So now we've just got to wait a little bit for the next part of the evacuation process to begin. So I'm just going to fast forward this a little bit, speed it up. We're waiting for another guy to come and tell us everything's okay and then we can move on to the school. I had a really funny glitch actually, a really, really strange glitch. You'll see in a second. The guy that walks over to tell Strandberg that everything's okay, he was actually just a normal NPC, kind of a tourist NPC. This guy... I don't know if, I, well, I don't know what happened. I guess the, the the system got confused and he's wearing the wrong skin or something, I don't know. But he's talking to the guy and watch this. this is team one leader. We're Speaks on his imaginary walkie-talkie. Trust no one. That's what I say, trust no one. But anyway, I thought it was pretty funny. And I'm glad I was able to include it in this video. I think I'm going to do... Another video of glitches to look out for. If you haven't seen that, I made one before on Sapienza. Seven glitches to be wary of in Sapienza. I'm not sure if this has got as many um, glitches. And I'm not trying to diss Hitman at all. I'm just... Th th these games, let's be honest, they have a lot of bugs. And it's it's best if we have a look. So you, I, I make a quick video so you can be aware of them. And, you know, it's a pretty fun video to make. So, if I see any more instances of NPCs wearing the wrong clothing, or just being the wrong person altogether, I'm definitely going to put that in. That's a... it's a funny one. Alright, so we're making our way. We're almost there. We just need to get through this barricade, whatever you would call it, past these people. They need to let us in. That guy is still following us. <laughs> the tourist. Right. He just needs to confirm that we're alright. And we're good to go. So this is this is the school. We're here now. So all we need to do is wait for Strandberg to meet Zayden, General Zayden, outside the school. And then we're going to activate the machine guns and kill them all. Here we go. 
I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear what they say. I was trying to listen to the conversation that they were having, but I ended it prematurely because I just couldn't understand anything they were saying. I don't know if it was my speaker or if it's just meant to be like that, if they're speaking in a weird accent, I don't know. But you'll see what I mean. Maybe you can make out some things that they're saying, but it's very difficult. But here we go. This is the final step. Final, final countdown. Strandberg's in position. Here's General Zayden. Salute. Perfect. I don't know what the hell they're saying. And I was, I was going to wait for it to finish, but then again, I didn't want to make it too late. So I thought, you know what? Let's do it. People do become a little suspicious, and I got a little worried there, but nothing, nothing happened. And just watch the the fireworks. It's really cool. And that's it. It's really as easy as that. Nobody becomes suspicious of you. This is obviously not very good for Silent Assassin suit only because it kills the other guys involved in the area. But yeah, that's it. Really cool way to kill the um, uh, the the targets rather. I'm trying to find some more little secrets. I managed to find, well, thanks to a guy on Reddit, I posted a video of a secret virus that you can find, a virus prototype in Sapienza. Check that video out if you haven't already. I'll put it at the end of this video, to, uh, a link to that one. And yeah, feel free to check out my other content. I've done some speed runs, a couple of funny videos, tutorials, walkthroughs. And uh, yeah, make sure to check those out. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching once again. I will see you in the next video.